In this video, we're going to be using Declaration Grooming Sweet Lemon and the Above the Tie Windsor SSRH. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it, and we have a lot to get to today, so let's start out with the soap. And today's selection is Declaration Grooming Sweet Lemon, which is a small run by Declaration Grooming. This is actual tape, unlike that part that's sort of in the label. And this will probably not last, sadly. I wish it was like that, but it's not. Anyway, short run, they call it, so they don't keep a ton of these. And this has a beautiful, beautiful scent, and I like it a lot. To me, it comes off, uh, it is sweet lemon. It comes off sort of like maybe a lemon pound cake or something like that. Beautiful scent. It's not quite to medium off the puck, but it does increase when you lather it. The cost on this is $21 for four ounces, and that is $5.25 an ounce on our cost chart, which is pricey. But again, this one has, to me, such a unique and beautiful scent that I just love it, and I don't even mind that it's pricey. I would like for it to be less expensive, but it's not. But for a scent like this, I, I think I'm gonna enjoy the heck out of it, to be honest with you. Let's show you the... Uh, description of the scent right there and again to me it's sort of like a, a lemon cake sort of vibe to it the consistency of this soap by the way is soft it's right at the edge of my tolerance for soft soaps it's pretty soft but it's not goopy and uh, there you have a look at, at the soap i hope in the future declaration will maybe firm the base up maybe in the next base because i really prefer that but it lathered up easily with no problem it wasn't particularly finicky and it is a good quality soap. I'll show you the ingredients right there. This is a tallow-based soap. This is milk steak, and it uses a bison tallow. So I'm looking forward to using this today because it really smells great. The razor for today is the Above the Tie Windsor, and this is the SSRH, which is a new plate. It's been changed a little bit. Here is the uh, Windsor, and this one is the SSH one, as you can see. If you look on the bottom of those, this one has those dots and the new one has those cutouts on, on the bottom there. And I think I prefer the design of the cutouts. Now this one is, is uh, this one is brushed matte finish and this one is satin. So you can see the difference uh, in the satin and the brushed matte finish. I think I prefer the brushed matte. Now this one is mine and this is the old SSH1. This one has a 0.91 uh, blade gap and it is listed as nine out of nine in aggression and it runs about $172 made in the United States. The SSRH, which, which you see here has a 0 0.80 blade gap on their scale of one to nine. They listed as eight in aggression. It's made here in the United States from uh, stainless steel, $160. And I'll remind you as always, if you're going to buy a razor from the above the tie, Use discount code IMCDB and get yourself 10% off. It also helps the channel. So thank you if you do, but no pressure from me. If you are shopping for Above the Tie, though, make sure you save yourself some money. They always, ha they also, excuse me, have in their line the Windsor Pro, and this one is the SB90, and it has a 0 0.90 blade gap. It runs about uh, $99, and they list it as six out of nine on aggression. Now, this one is made in China. The Windsor Pro is made in China. The other ones, um, still made in the United States. And this is going to be my first use of the SSRH. And Above the Tide did send that head to me to evaluate. So we'll try it out today and see what we think. This one I already own. I'm going to set that one aside, which is the old one. And we look forward to trying this one. And this is my handle, by the way. All right. A lot to, a lot to get out there. Let's get into it today. About 24 hours growth. And this is just plain water. If you're curious, I will link all the products below along with that discount code. Uh, if you're, again, if you're going to order, take advantage of that uh, discount, I would say. The brush for today is the PAA Phantom Aerolite, which I think is really, really nice. We have a good lather whipped up in our bowl here, and we're going to get right into it. I have to uh, mention, uh, I always shoot these videos one day ahead, typically. And last night, we had Zach and Melody from Moon Soaps on. You gotta watch, you got to watch that. I'll... Uh, I'll pop it up here. I hope you'll finish this video first, but I'm telling you what, you will not find nicer folks than those folk. I mean, just just tremendously nice folks. Some folks, when you see them on an interview, I don't think it helps. <laughs> but some folks, when you see them, they're just so nice and they come across as so down to earth and wonderful that you just 
you just, it makes you want to buy from them. And uh, I, I think it was just awesome talking to them and seeing, you know, getting to know them a little better. So I hope you'll watch that. And I think you'll find that those people are just super nice and enjoyable and uh, you feel good about supporting people like that. So check that out if you please. We had a lot of fun talking to Zach and Melody. Just lovely, lovely people. Okay, really nice lather here. Smells great. Again, I think uh, off the puck, I would call it under medium in scent strength. Once you get it lathered up, I think it hits right close to that medium level and it's a really pleasant lemon scent and, and I really like it. It took me a while to get it because the post office, uh, but boy, I'm, I'm happy it arrived because uh, it smells great and that feels very nice. Feels quite efficient, this new plate. It's the first time I'm using it. I'm getting some blade feel. It feels very, very smooth though. Very smooth. And I do like the, the cutouts for rinse ports, I think over the holes on the old one, personally. Yeah, this is feeling nice and smooth. I feel some blade feel, which is just perfect, but not too much. But you can definitely feel that it's efficient. And that feels really nice. The, the blade, by the way, I forgot to mention at the beginning was, uh, it is the Persona Lab Blue, which I like. Very nice, very smooth, made here in the United States. Wow, that's nice, yeah. I think, I think this, this plate just feels really nice. And I do like the finish on that brushed mat. I think I do prefer it over the, uh, the satin uh, mat finish. Again, looking at the razors here, I kind of like the looks of this one, but it's not too shiny to the point where it's blingy, but it's got a little bit of shine to it. Yeah, this feels nice. What I'm gonna have to do before I send uh, these things back is use some of them, some of them head to head, especially the uh, SSRH versus the SSH1, and the um, the SS part means stainless steel, and the H is the plate, by the way, and H is for heavy, which means you know uh, pretty efficient. And they do have different levels of plate. They have the R, which is sort of their medium. They have the M, which is a little less efficient or less blade feely. So they do have different options there. I always like using the H, it's just what I prefer. I know I was having a conversation with a gentleman yesterday in the comments about um, efficient or aggressive razors and how some people like to use them sort of out of being macho. And for me, I just like the way they feel. Uh, I feel like they're taking off a little more per stroke, just doing it a little easier, but I wanna say this right now. It doesn't matter what you use. If you use a mild razor and it's working great, use it. Um, using aggressive razors don't make you, uh, they do not make you macho, in my opinion. It's just, if you like it, go with it. If you don't, don't. You know, if being macho or using the most aggressive thing is, is important to you in terms of looks, then get a straight razor or shave head and you can't get any more aggressive than that. Open blade is, you know, maximum aggression. So if I were trying to look macho and that was important to me to be using, you know, the the most aggressive thing out there, then just use a straight razor or shave head all the time, you know. But for me, it's all about feel. And I feel that more efficient razors, so long as they're smooth, they need to be smooth. If it's an efficient razor that's also smooth, I feel like that feedback the blade gives you, meaning you can feel it cutting, just it makes it a little bit easier for me versus a very mild razor. Although I can shave with mild, mild razors with no problem and I do own them and I enjoy them. If given a choice, I'll go a little bit more efficient. It's just what my preference is. But whatever your preference is, we're all in it together. So if you're using something mild, I am certainly not gonna make fun of you. And if you prefer something more efficient, I'm not gonna make fun of you. It could, as you can see here, really nice lather with good hydration in it. This is definitely good quality stuff. But again, the, uh, the consistency of this is, is quite soft. It's right, it's right at my limit. If it were any more soft, 
it would start to be, you know, what I call soft and goopy, which I don't like at all. But where it is, is, is right at, right, um, sort of at the edge of my tolerance. But when you do get it lathered, it's really nice stuff. And again, today we're going to do like two and a half passes. We'll do one pass on residual slickness. And yeah, this one, this razor feels smooth. I'm really anxious to use this one uh, up against the uh, the old SSH1 to see how different they feel. Um, I'm not sure. So a lot of times I'll get questions as to how does X razor compare to Y razor? And the answer most times is I don't really know. I have to use them side by side, you know. Um, I use so many different razors and I'm rotating around so often that it's kind of hard to remember what one feels like, you know. So pretty much have to use them side by side to answer those questions. But we will put two of these side by side and see how it goes and see how they feel. The main difference that I'll get when I compare two razors is just the difference in feel. The end result almost always comes out the same because if it's a less efficient razor, you'll make more strokes, not even knowing you're doing it. You'll just, based on the feedback you're getting, you'll, you'll continue to go. If it's more efficient, you'll feel that the hair is gone. So like right now, you could just feel at what point I don't need to make any more strokes. And so what happens is I think in a lot of the comparison shaves, you'll just, you'll do more or less strokes depending on the feedback you're getting and the when in feedback I, I don't necessarily mean audio because that's what a lot of people go off of I just mean actually feeling you can feel when the razor's cutting versus when it's not and so you'll you'll make adjustments as you go and the end result often comes out the same every now and then you might be able to tell just a little bit of difference when you're finished but for the most part the result will come out the same, but what you can tell is the feel of the razor, the, the blade feel. You can tell when you use them side by side if there's a difference there. You know, you can tell when you're using them side by side the balance. The, you can definitely tell uh, those sort of things. All right, let's do a, uh, let's, let's just do a quick, well, uh, I meant to go across there, but I'm just gonna make, put a very thin, coating on here and do across the grain. I have been doing it just on residual, but man, this smells good. I'm not gonna take the time to do a full painting. I'm just gonna put on just enough right here to get it covered good enough, and then we'll go ahead and go across. Why not? Why not? Let's just go ahead and enjoy the razor today. Nice and smooth. I'm glad the folks that are above the tie sent this for me to try out. I think uh, this one feels really nice, and I do prefer the looks of it to the um, to the matte satin. So, acquiring this one might be in my future. And by the way, if you haven't seen that real talk with the uh, above the tie folks, check that out. They are also nice people, down to earth. Um, we talked a lot about their product, and I will link that below below for you as well. Very nice. This uh, Persona Blue Blade, by the way, or Lab Blue, is on its third use, and that's always where I stop with DE blades, except for the legendary Persona 74. I'll put more uses on that, because, you know, it can handle it, but with every other DE blade, it's three shaves and out. That's the most I'll do, or less. If the blade feels like it's shot after two, I won't use it for the third. Blades are inexpensive. There's no reason to push um, and use them beyond when they're, you know, really, really sharp. There's no point in doing that. And I tell you what, this, this soap smells so good. I'm very happy with it. And the razor, it's efficient, but smooth. And so I have definitely enjoyed using it today. Very, very nice. All right, let me rinse off and then we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off came. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we applied our PAA alum, no stain. So that was a super smooth shape. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel. 
prior to applying the Thayer's Cucumber. And what I do is I buy the bottles like this, which is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, and I put it in this spray bottle. It just makes it a little easier to apply, uh, in my opinion. And this, of course, is magic because it's made by witches. I had an excellent shave today with Declaration Grooming Sweet Lemon. Nice, wonderful, sort of sweet uh, lemon pound cake. Not super strong, not super sweet. Just smells great, and I, I just loved it. Absolutely fantastic. This is a big winner for me. I also enjoyed using, for the first time, the Above the Tie with the new SSRH plate. Um, really nice, efficient, but smooth, and we look forward to putting this up against the old SSH1 to see how they feel when I compare them. Uh, I enjoyed using the PA Phantom Aerolite brush, which is awesome, my Captain's Choice bowl. And we're gonna finish it out today with Declaration Grooming Sweet Lemon Splash. And again, be careful about this label. I doubt that will last, but what I always do if I'm concerned about a label is I will pour it out of the back. So if you do have some dripping, it won't go on the front. And man, I'm looking forward to putting this on because I'm sure this is gonna smell fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, that smells good. Man, oh man, oh man. What a great scent. Again, don't think uber sweet, just think pleasant lemon, like sort of like pound cake when you make one or open one. Just beautiful stuff. Man, this was a great shave. And I hope wherever you are, you have an excellent shave yourself today. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.